Yeah, what's up, dudes? All right, so I was gonna do just a regular first outing video, first outing breakdown like I've done in the past, but my first outing was one pitch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys footage from not only my first dry hump of the year, but my second dry hump of the year, and then my outing. So it's an interesting uh, season thus far. It's my first time throwing from three different slots in games. I'm having a lot of fun with that. More, more context on that to come. What you're gonna see is you'll see warming up, first game of the year, home opener, season opener, warming up for three different innings. And for those of you guys who don't know, when a bullpen guy warms up on three separate occasions, so three separate occasions being warm up, sit down, warm up, sit down. Now, it might be a little bit different if you warm up without getting completely hot. And by hot, I mean like ready to go into the game. You're usually gonna be down and they treat it kind of like you pitch that game. So opening day, got hot on three separate occasions, didn't pitch. Was, was one pitch away. It was actually my boy Brett Rodriguez making an unreal play in center field. Um, if that play wasn't made, I was in the game. <laughs> and then second game, I warmed up on two or three separate occasions, but didn't get in. And then the next day, warmed up, got in the game, executed a pitch. It was dope. You guys are going to see some content from, from those bullpens because I haven't posted any throwing content really on my YouTube. I want to let you guys know too that the vlogs are on the way. I just have no time to freaking edit those things. So if you're a vlog editor and you want to edit my vlogs, reach out to me. <laughs> That'd be dope. TheRobGuroShow.com slash ask. Without further ado, here is some freaking three slot Rob content. I'll try to do this more as the season goes on. I'm starting my podcast season nine, starting the vlogs and still doing all my own content editing. So it's a lot. So there's going to be a little and I'm super OCD with when I release things in relation to like when, where we're at in the season, and it kills me. But now, let's get to it. Enjoy, guys. Opening day pen. I even titled it First Dry Hump. <laughs> it's going to be a quick one. I filmed this one on the vlog camera, so from far away, it's just not that good. Look at those stirrups, though. And we got these uniforms this year. These are new. Unfortunately, I don't have the pants hemmed. So I have to wear the tweeners, but those look pretty good. Those are the nine inch stirrups. Yesterday we wore those jerseys too, and I did the striped stirrups, a little breaking ball. And there you go. Just a little dry humpage. What's funny is um, that face, obviously, but that was the third, that was the third round of ups. So I got up with like two outs in like the fourth inning. And then got up in the, f or no, I got two outs in the third inning and then fourth and then fifth. That was, <clears throat> that was just the first one that I decided to film. <laughs> was that last one. So here's another one. This one is a little, yeah, now we got the freaking big dog camera out. So this one's going to be crisp. Um, unfortunately, you can't see the pitches, but you can see the crispness of the freaking picture. Uh, my boy Willie next to me, Willie was, scheduled to be a starter so he was piggybacking this game and i was going to be used as like the bridge guy so for those of you guys who don't know what the bridge is um typically you have like specific high leverage roles in the pen you have your long guy and then you probably have your bridge guy and then you have your seven eight nine guys so my role in that particular instance and then harmless on the handheld those are six stirrups too Shout out TCK, honestly, for, for hooking it up this year with the discount on the, the stirrups. Um, that picture is so quality. There I am, sweating. I do that a lot in Puerto Rico. So another dry hump. And then let's go ahead and get to the old first outing P.
Which was funny because I was I finally got in and it turned out to be just one pitch. So this is from the game stream. Junior Alnero de los Ooh, Indios de Mayagüez que viene a relevo del veterano zurdo Miguel <coughs> Roby Rowland. Got some in my throat. Que, que oh, that was another thing. They're doing time limits on the warm-up pitches. I got three warm-up pitches. And that's what you just saw there when I said two, and he was like, no, one more. And I ended on a, what was it? I ended on like a cutter. I never do that. But yeah, this year they're just making it strict to do time limits. And it's unfortunate too, because early stages, I didn't get out here until like two days before the first game. So early stages with the catchers, you got to be on the same page. So a lot of intentional conversations. Uh, pretty high leverage situation though. 3-3, three, three, bottom five. First pitch, a little cut Johnson over the top. Great play by Jeremy Rivera once again. Jeremy Rivera might be the best shortstop I've ever seen play. Might be the best shortstop I've ever played with. Um, so, something that I, whoa, how are we doing? Something that really fires me up, honestly, about this particular pitch was I've been telling a lot of people that when I go over top, the cutter, which this pitch is, usually goes like bullet slider. So it's around like 83, 85, um, low efficiency. And this is exactly what I think this pitch looks like. So you're typically not, like this is a power hitter, right? So he's gonna be wanting to do damage early. He's probably not gonna to wanna to get deep into a count because you don't wanna you don't want to strike out and leave those two guys on. So you wanna do damage early. So for me, seeing that, identifying that, like the go-to would be a pitch that resembles the fastball to appear as the heater out of the hand to allow them to engage in the swing. And um, so like a change up little Volk P or like a cutter slider like this, as you can see, starts off out of the hand in that trajectory of like, all right, that's a down and away heater. He's trying to just get ahead. Boom. I've engaged swing. It's just a really good, really good pitch and a really freaking good play. <laughs> so yeah, that was, that was my first outing. It was so funny too, because it's like dry hump, dry hump. And then even this game, I think I got hot twice. And then you get in there and it's like you throw one pitch and you're like, all right, bud, see you later. That's the game. But since then, we've been getting in there, we're getting in some work, getting a little bit more comfortable with each slot. The hard part for me is not over articulating, not over analyzing, you know, what pitch and what slot to throw with and kind of just going off instincts, honestly. But bod looks good. For those of you guys asking about sleeves, why I wear sleeves in Puerto Rico, because I sweat so much and I need something to essentially catch the sweat. Like yesterday was an issue because I was throwing um, a breaking ball, but for some reason, like the sweat from my forearm arm got down into my hand and the, the way I was holding my breaking ball for some reason, and maybe it's my ring finger, it was like wet from the sweat and it kept slipping out and I almost hit like two righties. <laughs> But I'll be doing this more and more. So I'll uh, include the videos separately as well. So you can go back after this little Johnson and watch those, those bullpen videos. Okay, guys. Vlogs are coming soon. I'm going to actually edit those today. We got an off day. Well, off day from baseball. Not off day from life and work. <laughs> Much love, homies. God bless. See ya.